Welcome to the first episode of the Washington College Sports Spotlight. Nick Lewis here with you. Joining me today is junior captain men's swimmer Gage Mandrill. Gage, happy to have you here today. Thanks. Glad to be here. So, Gage, you and the men's swimming team are coming off a pretty solid season, but it was a solid season for you individually as well, seeing yourself set a number of records. If you don't mind, tell me a little bit about how this season went for you personally and some of the improvements that you saw. So, personally, this season was probably my, uh, probably my best season ever. I mean, I had time drops in all of my events, and coming off of COVID year, it was kind of tough, but I mean, it, it went better than anyone could have expected. Um, and I was just thoroughly glad to, to be back in the water, back in championship meet environment. Yeah. So you've now seen yourself with some of your, your recent numbers jump among some of the fastest swimmers here in Washington history. Tell me a little bit about what that feeling is like to know that among this group of athletes, you rank towards the top of that class. I mean, it, it's crazy to think of. I mean, I've I've never thought of myself as being someone that would be able to break those records that I see every day. And to be able to do that um, with some of the people that I've met here is um, just truly outstanding. Um, this team has had a great history and to continue to build that history and into a, this new chapter is just something that is awesome to see. So I'm very proud. So you touched on it a little bit there. Tell me about the, the dynamic of this team, because as with so many teams, uh, swimming or not, a around the country, there's been a lot of challenges to face here recently. Tell me about how this group of guys this season kind of came together. Yeah, this, this group of guys, it, we're a really young team. We have um, the majority of the team are sophomores and freshmen. We only have one graduating senior, and I'm the only junior, so we are a very, very young team and this team is willing to work through a lot and push themselves beyond, I mean, anything that really could uh, be given to us. So, I mean, just the pure grit that they have, it, it's amazing to see. I mean, I wasn't here the first week of school. I uh, know the, the week before school started, but um, during freshman orientation, all the freshmen came in and swam and it, it was, it was cool to see because that's never happened before. So, it just shows the commitment to the team. So we talked a little bit about the team. Tell me a little bit about the program. What are some of the things that when you were trying to make that big decision where to attend that drew you to Washington? So I, I uh, really enjoyed the small team atmosphere. I came up a uh, swimming club in um, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and that really focused on the small team atmosphere. And I, I really felt like it was a family there and I really liked that feeling here and that that's something that I really um, thought was going to be able to push me to the next point in my um, swimming career and academic career so that was something that I really looked into and the location it's small school small town you get to know everybody so that was great while we're talking here about your decision to come to Washington tell me a little bit about both your major and some of the plans you have for potentially post-graduation? So I'm currently a biology major. Um, I'm a chemistry and uh, psychology minor, um, and I really have interest in neuroscience. Um, I plan on going to medical school after taking gap year and focusing more on the neuroscience side of um, medicine. So that's something that I'm really interested in. Um, Beyond that, I really don't have any plans or goals right now. So playing it by ear. So going back to how you talked about the team as a whole and how they've they've kind of grown, you've really seen a lot of, of development even over your relatively short time here with the program. What are some of the ways that this men's swimming team has kind of expanded before your eyes since you've been here? Yeah, when I first came here, the team, it was – not not the greatest we had um an environment where it wasn't um leading to success and we we've had some changes with coaching and with athletes along our team and now we're really committed to culture first that's that's our big thing um we build a culture first and then once once we take the culture um we we can really push it in the pool 
and in the classroom and that leads us to success. So that's something that I really enjoyed seeing. Um, me and my other captain, Nate, we've really focused on making everybody feel included, making sure that we're really being the best version of, of ourselves before um, we step into that pool every day. So, yeah. So when it comes to being the best version of yourself in the pool, what are some of the things that you do, I guess, to keep yourself in, in good shape and to keep yourself mentally ready? Yeah, so swimming is a very mentally taxing sport. It is probably one of the longest seasons throughout the year um, there with basketball. And we're up at 5.30 a.m. most mornings swimming for two hours with nothing but your thoughts in your head. So it's, it's really tough. I mean, I, I just keep thinking of the end of the line conferences at the end of the year. That's every single practice. I'm going to work towards being my best self in the pool and whatever I do during this practice, it'll pay off in the end. And so that's something that I really focused on. So you talked a little bit about conferences at the end of the year there. It was a pretty successful appearance for you at that centennial meet as well. Tell me a little bit about what it was like leading up to that meet for you this year and, and how it felt to leave. Yeah, so it, it was a really, um, it was a fun meet to be at. Uh, the weeks leading up to conference, it was really stressful, um, just based off uh, the fact that we have a young team and that a lot of these swimmers have never been to a conference meet before, and they understand they 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 weren't able to understand um, the pressure of it, and so there was a lot of nerves that went into it. And so, me being older and being at one of these meets before, I understood what it was like, and so that kind of led me into. I don't want to say a mentor role, but kind of just being able to talk people down when they had nerves. So that, that was something that I was never used to. Um, but leaning into that, I made sure to focus on my health, focus on everything. That way, once I got to conference, I was able to perform how I needed to and wanted to. So moving forward here, both, I guess, for yourself and for the program, what are some of the goals that you have looking forward into the future? So some of my goals for this team are to continue to break records. I mean, that is something we really want to do as a program. We want to continue breaking them, compete for them. Um, one, one of our goals down the line, and I probably won't be here for it, is to win a conference championship. We're up on the rise. Many of the other teams in the conference are falling down, and it is great to see um, – that we're able to compete with them now. So it's, it's something that I can see in, in this program's future. And once I graduate, I want to see my records come down. I want to, I want to see this team just get back better and better. So, yeah. And just to put a bow on things here, overall in your time as a shoreman, what has been your favorite part about uh, being an athlete at Washington College? I think just the uh, general family environment. I, uh, I have grown just a family around me of um, fellow athletes, mainly swimmers. And um, I'm starting to become friends with people outside of swim team. And within the athletic department, it is, it's just great. It's just, they're so supportive and um, they'll help you with anything. So, yeah. Congrats on being the first Shoreman Spotlight player here for this new series. Uh, for you. Washington College, and congrats on a successful season. Best of luck moving forward. Thank you. Thanks for having me.